No surprise, the pandemic has significantly hurt brick and mortar businesses. New data shows shoppers are slowly easing back into in person shopping, particularly in North Carolina, but local retailers are preparing for a holiday shopping season unlike any before. Our Savannah Levins has more tonight. When you think holiday shopping, you probably picture packed malls, Black Friday doorbusters, and crowded shops. But the COVID-19 pandemic has changed everything. Consumers are concerned. They're not shopping and they're not going out as nearly as frequently now as they were before. John Kelly is CEO of ZenReach, a company that uses Wi-Fi data to track foot traffic in retail stores nationwide. In April, we hit our all-time low when uh, in-store traffic was down about 75% across the country. Since April, it has come back, uh, but we're only at about 50% of in-store traffic right now. Kelly says their data shows North Carolina is actually one of the top five states trending upward, with the last two weeks of October seeing a 4.3% increase in retail foot traffic. You actually brought traffic back sooner than other states. He says some of that might be attributed to the easing of lockdown and public gathering regulations and safety measures implemented at local shopping centers, from ramped up sanitation to crowd control efforts. New this year at Carolina Place Mall, for example, is a new reservation system called Spot Holder. Shoppers can avoid crowds by tracking lines and store occupancy and scheduling in-store appointments. Many retailers also putting far less emphasis on the day of doorbusters of years past. A lot of retailers are spreading out their deals, so I don't think we're going to see this big spike in traffic like we've seen in previous years. The National Retail Retail Federation predicts 60% of consumers will stick to cyber shopping this year. Kelly predicts the huge shift from in-person to online shopping will likely stick around well beyond the pandemic. And if you're a merchant out there, uh, please make sure to invest in the online experience. But he says the in-store experience will likely live on as long as businesses are able to keep their doors open. If you let it all die, Nobody will be here. Does this mean that brick and mortar businesses die? I don't think so. I think that there's, you know, there's too much pent up demand for people wanting to go to a restaurant or go browsing and shopping in retail locations. Many retailers also putting an emphasis on curbside pickup this year. Charlotte based Belk is doing same day delivery for online orders for the first time. Really more options for shoppers than ever as retailers get creative to stay afloat. Reporting in Charlotte, Savannah Levins, WCNC Charlotte.